Hello, it's Mr. Kaczynski here, working on section F in IXL's 8th grade math. Positive and negative square roots today. I think you'll pick up on this pretty quickly. We know that um, every positive number has two square roots. If we're not being asked for it, though, um, we should only give the positive square root. So when this says, what is the square root of 81, we're just going to say 9, because 9 squared equals 81. All right. Um, they didn't ask for the negative square root, so we're not going to give the square root. As opposed to this problem, that says, what is the, I read that as, the opposite of the square root of 4. Well, the square root of 4 is 2, and we're going to give the negative square root. So, in this case, we only give negative 2. We don't give the positive square root, just the negative square root. And in this one, same idea. They're asking for the negative square root, so negative... Uh, 60. 6 times 6 is 36. 60 times 60 is 3600. So negative 60. But there might be times where we're asked for both. This says what are the square roots, plural, of 169? Well, 13 squared equals 169. And negative 13 squared equals 169. So the square roots of 169 are negative 13 and 13. And this is another way to ask for both roots. When you see this um, sign right here, that says positive and negative square roots of 225, which obviously are 15. 15 squared is 225 and negative 15. So positive and negative 15. That's all there is to this. I'm sure you'll fly through it. Uh, good luck.